Hi, this is Jayani from Pekish Me, back once again with yet another beautiful and easy recipe just for you. And what are we going to be making today? It is a global favorite all across the world and that is Shakshuka. So first things first, we are going to cut our tomatoes and I have some beautifully ripe tomatoes over here. So let's get chopping. Next goes the onions. As always, my Tefal salty pan to the rescue this time as well. So let's begin. In goes the olive oil. Let that heat a little bit. And then I want to add my garlic. A lot of garlic because I like a lot of garlic in my food. And I want it nice and fragrant. While that's cooking, I'm going to add in the onions. And while this is going on, I'm going to add my oregano. Pinch of salt, pinch of pepper. And the most important ingredient for me in this dish, cumin. So I can smell the spices from here, so I'm going to add the chopped tomatoes now. Now I'm going to add a bit of chili powder. If you have smoked paprika, that's the ideal for this, but if you don't have smoked paprika, chili powder is fine. We all like a bit of heat in our food. Just going to let it cook and caramelize and Bring in all those flavors of cumin, onions, tomatoes, garlic and oregano. Uh, it needs to melt together to bring out all those exotic flavors into the eggs that you are going to be cracking into this next. You need to really let that liquid reduce to really bring in those flavors together for it to intensify. And remember, some people like to add sugar depending on the sourness of your tomatoes. Now, the tomatoes that I used are not so sour, so I'm not going to use any sugar. But if the tomatoes that you are using are a little too sour, add one teaspoon of sugar to balance it out. I think my tomato mix is ready for the eggs to come in. So gently, I'm going to make a small well here. And I'm going to crack the egg into this bell. And likewise, small bells. And egg goes in. Keep doing that until your pan space is all used up. So you let that cook until the eggs are just about set in and then it's ready for you to tuck right in. This needs to be monitored closely because I do not want those eggs to be cooked through. I want them to be wobbly and I want them to be oozy when I tuck into them with my bread. My shakshuka is done. The eggs are just right. They are not overcooked. I can see that they are still oozy in the middle. And I wish that you could smell this because it smells absolutely heavenly and I cannot wait to tuck in. Shakshuka is a dish meant to be shared, so I'm going to serve it in the tefal saute pan that I cooked it in, so that all the family members or your group of friends can come and dig in with their pieces of bread. And I'm going to be serving it with the focaccia that we made in the tefal uh, easy fry oven today. Let's dig in. Look at that egg, see, that's just so custody and so, so good. You have to get it with the tomatoes and it's just perfect. 